First established in 1955 as the Cowboy Hall of Fame, it was in the year 2000 that the name was changed to the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Well, that allowed us then to, to present more of the story of the American West. Our mission, you know, was to begin with uh, one to recognize individuals, but also in time there was a, a great collection of Western art that was accumulated. And, and after the 90s, we started telling more of the story of the American West with a capital W-E-S-T. It's here you will find a true presentation of the American West, its history, and kaleidoscope of cultures. That's accomplished through the various exhibits, impressive world-class art, educational programs, and events. And while different exhibits come through the museum, there are the public favorites, such as the full-scale western town known as Prosperity Junction. It's uh, almost 13,000 square feet, 38-foot high ceiling. So the idea is to go in there and we want to take the, the visitor, take the audience back in time to a, a western community. In the 1890s, maybe turn of the century, of course, everybody in Oklahoma City uh, understands and knows the, the, the end of the trail sculpture uh, by James Earl Frazier uh, is an anchor piece and, and, and somewhat an icon of the American West, which you'll see in, in, in gift shops and in uh, art galleries, you know, in one phase or another all, all over the United States. But uh, it, it was obtained here and first dedicated to the public uh, in 1970. And so it's been associated with our institution for, for quite a while. The large marble cougar known as the Canyon Princess is another favorite. And then there's the art, like the world famous Immigrants Crossing the Plains, which was painted in 1867. And of course, the museum's yearly prestigious exhibit called Pre de West. There are whole sections of, of uh, presentations in the museum, like the contemporary Western art. Uh, our institution, in terms of its art program, that's what it's really known for, working with contemporary living painters of the American West and in particular how they portray the light in the West, as well as just uh, the Native Americans and the Cowboys, you know, and, and their working traditions and, and the romance of, of those, those things, and then sometimes the action. Visitors come here literally from all over the world, and the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum has a national and international audience, people who have an interest, an enchantment, a love for the American West. Some people come here just to see the John Wayne collection. Uh, and other people come here just to see the art collection because that's what their interest is. Uh, and then there are rodeo fans because we're kind of a Canton, Ohio of, of rodeo. Uh, and so they come to see the, the collections and the saddles and the stories of, of the great rodeo champions. You'll also find at the museum store wonderful books, clothing, Native American jewelry, pottery, and more. We've got a unique offering, I think, that reflects the American West and in, in what is uh, available to the public in, in the museum store. But regardless of the reason you come here, you'll walk away with an endearing love for the American West, our region, and its people. And that is the, the heart of the real mission of this institution, is to tell that story, the story of those people that are living today, the, the heritage of those that have gone before, and, and why 